Hello, this is David, taking down and packing up the Gazelle T4 Plus tent. I got this tent in the fall of 2021. I think it has a larger bag than earlier versions did. So the first step in taking down the tent is to remove the rain fly. I do that by going in the screen room door, popping down both ceiling panels and going out the back door. I then remove the hook of the rain fly Circle the tent and remove all four poles holding the rain fly on. Then the rain fly slides off the top quite easily. I don't take any special care with the rain fly. I stuff it back into the tent bag get it roughly even along the bottom, make sure the poles aren't binding anywhere, and I end up putting the tent on top of that. The next step is to go inside the screen room door and pop up the ceiling panel so that you can remove the three poles around the screen room door. I don't show that in this video, but if you watch the setup video, I show how, how those poles go in. To remove them, you just take off three small Velcro attachments and pull the poles out of the sleeves quite easily. After that, I circle the tent, pushing and popping in all five wall panels and the entire tent flops down on its side easily. The next steps of folding it up are not so straightforward and it took me a number of times at home to figure it out. Basically, the next thing I do is I fold it in half lengthwise so that all the black material, the outside of the floor, is facing down as well as facing it up and all of the interior of the orange part of the tent is on the inside. The instructions just say gather all corners of the shelter and fold together. I do this by folding portions of the tent and the poles inside so that they end up flopping on one another and roughly lining up. The way this ends up is you have kind of two bundles of tent with two hubs that are sticking out which you see toward me in, in the video here right before I pick it up. Sometimes all of this takes a lot of wrestling and it's a lot of physical labor to get it all in place, but that's also the end of most of the work. The final step is to bundle it up in order to fit in the bag. The tent comes with one nice long Velcro strap, which I use around the middle of the, of the tent and cinch down quite tightly. Following the advice of some other folks that have this tent, I use three bungee cords to help hold in place all the loose poles at the end and make the bulk of the tent more compact, which lets it fit in the tent bag much easier. I think the easiest way to get the tent in the bag is to put the bag and the tent on the ground parallel to each other, lift one end of the tent into the bag and stuff it into the more closed end of the tent bag. I then pick up the other end which has a zipper that goes all the way around the curve and towards the ground, lift up that end and that lets me then stuff that end into the bag, zip the bottom portion closed, and leave the main top part of the zipper open. While I don't fold up the rain fly, I just squish it into the bag. I let the 
heavy weight of the tent flatten out the rain fly just from being on the bottom. I do fold up the footprint to take up less space in the bag and I put that on the top followed by the poles and zip it all closed.